My favorite class is Rascal, and I'd say he's one of the most powerful classes in the game, so I just wanted to make this video to show how powerful you can play as Rascal. Normally, what I like to do is I put my sentry right at this spawn, um, yeah, so then they can't get out. It's pretty effective. Bruh. Okay, let's be real. In my old videos, I had no clue what I was on about. Not only that, but I was literally making stuff up on the spot. You can't heal the things. Launch pads. But now, I'm not a level 26 silver 1, and I'm a level 60 diamond 3, so I'm going to remake the entire series. Maybe... Probably, I don't know. But beat up, I'm level 150. Shut the fuck up. Okay, so we are on um, defense. Well, I'm actually on offense, but for the sake of this video, I'm on defense. And uh, here's like the first spot that I put my turret in is um, around here, right? Because it has a sightline of the entire like area of the like starting location except for like this half which is like not really necessary but it's good because if they come out of this they can't really they'll they'll only be able to see it if they're like looking but like they'll probably be focusing on like all of your little teammates down here like trying to stop them from getting to this and the reason that that is very good is because when they're pushing the cart right they're all getting hurt so they have to like kill the enemies around them but at the same time they're constantly getting a flow of 10 damage um hurting them uh, over and over is it 10 damage i think it's 10 damage anyway um i'll just cut until the um next location okay so once they start um to take out your turret if i were you i'd um like retreat um eventually after like while your team is still here, but you're, they, they keep focusing down your turret and just put it like around here-ish. So then that way, right, when they are pushing the cart, they'll be walking and it's, it's barely visible, right? So they'll probably just walk past it, um, like being the oblivious people that they are um, that play this game. And then they'll be like pushing the car and they'll be getting hurt from behind and they won't even know it. So yeah, that's the second location. And then the third location that I put it is, um, so you can either go up that little fallen tree trunk or take a launch pad up here. And then you just stick it down like right here. Um, before I, in my other video, I said you could um, put the turret up in the tree, but now they've patched it. So, um, just wait for my, um, turret to regenerate, but they've patched it so that if you try to attempt to place it in there, it does not ever turn blue, and when it's blue is when you can place it, so you can never place it while you're going up in that tree, um, to place it for it to just, like, shoot them and they can't shoot it back. So, now, just place it there, it's basically just as good, but... Well, not just as good, it's a lot worse, but that's only because that was broken. Um, this place is really fair, you can um, use a chrome dome if you like, and um, yeah, you got a pretty good sightline of the area. Um, once they cap that though, it, it, um, they start spawning here, so um, you might want to be thinking of um, moving back, because if they are coming at you, then they got like only really here and here to um, hurt your turret so once they start um coming up this hill this turret is going to be basically useless because all they'll need to do is run through there and then start shooting the turret while they're pushing so what i do is i'd move back just a bit into this little cave area and then i um put a launch pad somewhere around here um, sometimes it just flings me off, but most of the time it doesn't. 
and then um, if if my team is still out there I'll put the turret like here ish so that um, when when they're coming in they're taking damage but they can't just like uh, corner peek it because my team is there so they have to be like around like they can't they can't because they're focused on my team so if they're corner peeking my team's just gonna kill them but if my team is not there then what I'll do is I'll put it like around here-ish, like focused more on the um, the entirety of like this area because um, they can't they can't see it, but they can hear it if you're paying attention. But while they're pushing the cart, then they start getting shot, and you can set up here, you can upgrade it to level two, and pop down like a chrome dome, and there's not much they can do about it apart from. Um, Maybe just like running in here and starting to shoot it, but um, you know. So this is the um, next turret spot up here. Um, mind the shooting. My friend has joined the server and they won't leave. So yeah, you just put um, the turret up here, and this one's from my last video. It's basically the same spot. Nothing has changed that much except for like this area. That matters that is um so yeah they'll come out and they'll be pushing the cart and then they'll um uh they'll, they'll get hurt from this um turret because like once they get like around here-ish oh, well that's not very much of an indication but as soon as the turret gets out they get shot from behind and they don't know um so yeah okay so once the car gets around like here or just, just basically as soon as it caps this point um you're gonna want to probably move um your pilot well let it get like to this bend first but you're gonna want to move your turret to like around like um in this area now where i generally will put it is on these little um posts like here for instance or there or um there or, projectiles aren't working for some reason but here or like um up, up here um or here but you know you can put it basically anywhere just try put it a bit elevated um you can also put it on this down here but like it's a little bit more risky i mean i would recommend it because it does um do a good job kind of but like you know Nowhere here is um, ridiculously good, or not just ridiculously, just like better than usual. This is just like an average type of area for like turret spots. And if I were you, the worst thing you could do is put it like anywhere that you can see this area, like because um, they could easily just outrange your turret. Um, yeah. Okay, so. Once the um, car is coming around this little bend here, you probably want to go. Up, you're probably going to want to, sorry, um, move it. So I, I normally will put it here, um, and then if they start shooting it down, um, and then they die, um, because you can't really put another one while they're still doing a push. I would put it like. Um, here maybe or um up over here like any of these little spots tend to uh i don't know if you can place them in here but like like here then um because you know it, most of the spots here are pretty good um it's not ridiculously good as i said like back then but it's a lot better than back there because um there is um, less area for it to get outrange, but um, that also means that there's um, less area for it to um, like shoot other people. But it's fine. Okay, so once they get to this point, this is your like final defense before they win, and ideally you don't want them to ever get to this point. But you know sometimes um, it might just happen. Um, so here's the first spot that I put my turret in so on this little what do you call this uh pillar well i don't know what this part is called of the pillar because it's different 
Um, but yeah, see if they come from the top, they'll get shot, and then if they come from the bottom, they'll also get shot. So yeah, it, it works well. Um, you might need to replace it every so often, but it you know it, it does its job. The second here is the second um, spot which I put in. You might want to put it back a little bit. I put it a little bit too close. Um, and basically, yeah, it's all right. You can put a chrome dome, and they can't do much because by the time they get to it, they've already hurt themselves pretty badly. Um, though people can't really get behind it either anymore. Um, I I mean a reaper probably could. Um, but that's about it really. And you can come down here and pop the chrome dome. So, so if I brought it back a bit. And then I put my chrome dome like here-ish. Then, yeah, there's not much they can do to stop it um, because like it's basically just um, a little wall that prevents them from shooting in. But he can shoot out, and majority of the um, bullets can't hurt um, the chrome dome. Well, like the the chrome dome's not really clipping out the side, so you can't really um, hurt that without like. Um, not being in view of the turret, I mean, maybe if you were, like, all the way over here, but, like, you'll probably get killed if you were. Um, here's the next spot, it's just down, um, in this corner. Uh, it doesn't stop them when they're coming up here, though, I don't think. Um, yeah, if they're pushing the car, it's not gonna stop them, but as soon as they get, like, here-ish it is that they start taking damage from the turret, so, personally, I, um... I don't use this one much, only if they um, are like constantly putting pressure on all the other spots. And then over here, I, I wouldn't really recommend putting your turrets at all on this side um, because, first of all, there's a little ramp that can come up, and then there's also a f um, flank. Like this one over here also does have a flank, but it's not as um, it's not as um, difficult. Uh, to keep your turret up if they're coming from this flank. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend putting your turret on that side. And that concludes defense, and now I am going to show you offense spots. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do is put my little launch pad down facing this little arch, fly down and pop this on top, and then I'll start helping my team like attack the enemies. And then yeah. Then what I like to do is um, cut forward a little bit to over here-ish and stick my turret in here so that if the um, enemy starts to come over and try to stop my um, team, I can um, you know stop uh, damage them like by st stop them by damaging them. I put a launch pad and then I come up around here-ish, and then stick this little mushroom behind this, I mean, stick my turret behind that mushroom, or on it, I guess, and then, yeah, catches them off guard. Once my team get their carts over here, what I'll like to do is I'll, um, come up here, and I'll basically just, um, invert the, uh, spot that I used on defense, so I'll just use it um, focusing on this side rather than that side there um, and if they keep getting that one you can stick a turret up here as well because they'll be running this way they won't um, realize that they're getting hit by a turret unless they're competent but most of the people that play this game aren't very competent if I'm going to be honest myself included um, <coughs> Once this spot here becomes um, not useful anymore because the cart's like around this area, I'll probably just like move it out here and um, contribute to getting it to this little checkpoint. And then once it at this checkpoint, once it is at this checkpoint, I'm sorry, um, I'll put it like probably just like around here-ish because the difference um, being that I wouldn't use it on defense here because um, the 
enemies are coming from here but now the enemies are coming from back here so you can put it here if you'd like as well but it's less useful because you don't have all of this site maybe even just here because you're getting um blocked like like you can't see it from like there or can you well barely if you like if if the enemy was coming right and then they will like come in like that and they might not see it but it's possible that they will by the way if the if you get a chrome dome it might be useful to um well if you get a chrome dome while your team's pushing the car it might be useful to um put it down on the car because in that way uh, it moves with the car and then you just basically get like a little barrier that you can't shoot into while your teammates can push it so they'd have to come up close and then um get hurt once this turret gets to the um little second uh floor i'd call it like basically once it gets to this point and comes around i'd probably um move it um to basically anywhere on this little second area like a lot of the places they could like you could put it anywhere in this area it should be fine except for like right here or well, even then this would work but like I'll, basically this whole little area is just one um, big little spot that you can put it in without it um, taking much damage and then once we get around here um, I'd like to take out the enemies with like a turret it's just around this corner here and then once we manage to take out all of those enemies, um, I might put it like uh, back here so that they can't really see it um, from in there. But it can little catch him off guard, and then you do this until you push the car um, out of this area. Once the car is out of this area, you're gonna want to um, move it. As for where you want to put it once you're um, down in this area, um, you can use one of the spots that I use for defense. It's like a lot um, better because they're basically constantly in this little area. So if you come, you manage to get up here, you might be able to like slip past their site and then just little put this little thing down here. And then they don't know it's here. So then when they're like defending from up there, they're also taking damage from back there. Then maybe like a Sheila comes in and starts hurting them up close, so they have to focus on that, and they're just constantly getting hurt. And then after that, just push the car to the end, and then, yeah. Um, if they keep figuring out this spot, just basically put it anywhere up on that second area there, because um, they, they like, um, what is it? They, they can't really get up there, um because of the fact that like they have to they'd have to either be like somebody that can actually get up here like a um, reaper or a sedina or a um, rascal and then even then um, you can just protect the uh, the thing right so like because you can keep putting them back up and use a chrome dome or something and then yeah you can just push the cart to the end